Happy Friday, hot news, everybody. Welcome to the latest tech news that's going on in the course of the internet. We've got some major AMD news courtesy of Tesla. We also have Asus and Ikea teaming up to give us the ROG partnership, as well as a few other things going on, such as an eight kilohertz polling rate on a mouse. We'll get into all of that after we briefly mention today's video sponsor. But friends, today's video is brought to you by Privacy. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of having to use your real ones which protects your identity and bank information on the internet. And right now, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on their first purchase. So go to privacy.com forward slash hot news to sign up now. We're gonna get into privacy a little bit more in the middle of the show, but let's get to the main event, which is Tesla has updated its Model S and its Model X, which normally wouldn't be the headline of whatever we're talking about, but today, it is because you get a free 10 teraflop gaming GPU when you purchase one of these new ones. Yes, 10 teraflops of computer horsepower. Not only that, but saying that it's capable of playing The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. You can also see that it has Fallout Shelter, but it does seem like CD Projekt Red is combining with Tesla in order to bring this stuff out, especially with the Cybertruck, which should have been in Cyberpunk, but out of all the things that should have been in Cyberpunk, uh, you can count them on so many hands. It also includes a new new rear display where people can play on wireless controllers. It also includes, according to a new patent that was found, the 10 teraflop GPU is going to be a Navi 23 GPU. This is a pretty big deal because AMD hasn't even announced the retail version of Navi 23. It appears that this is gonna be comparable somewhat to a PS5, but Tesla replacing Nvidia, yeah, they worked with Nvidia a while ago and then said, hey, we're not gonna, we're gonna use our own self-driving driving tech. And now they're saying, hey, we're going to use AMD to put a gaming computer into our Teslas and we're not even consider Nvidia. How much did Jensen tick off Elon Musk that they're stupid this low to just get back at it? Like, why couldn't Tesla just build its own like GPU? Why do they have to use AMD? They could have done it. They're building their own AI processor. You're telling me that they couldn't have made this happen. They wanted to go AMD. That's what's happening. So AMD partnering with Tesla, you get a free gaming GPU with every purchase of a 70 plus thousand dollar car. You're welcome for that. You can see the block diagram of the new Navi GPU there, but also that's not the only thing that was updated. Obviously the new screens on the Model S and the Model X are resembling those on the three and the Y, but they also have a brand new yoke steering wheel, as you can see there with no top. It's supposed to be resembling a racing design, which is kind of what they're going for with these cars. You can see they're now including the brand new Plaid powertrain on the Model X and the Model S. The Plaid one's gonna go for $120,000, but can do zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds on an SUV mind you. The Plaid Plus powertrain on the Model S for $140,000 can do zero to 60 in under two seconds. The first production car to be able to do that, plus a 520 mile range, which is just absolutely Plaid. It's not ludicrous. They've gone Plaid. They've gone to Plaid. But what's not Plaid is the design aesthetic for Ikea and Asus, because that's gotten leaked a bad, uh, fabric joke, I guess. You, we now have an indication of what this partnership is going to look like. It's definitely barring heavily from Asus's ROG design, but I think for the most part, this is actually pretty decent looking and I wouldn't mind picking some of this stuff up. It includes things such as sit stand desks, as well as pegboards, as well as shelving, just kind of typical Ikea stuff, as well as ring lights, special cushions, a, like a, a cup holder that you hang off your desk. It's a bunch of cool stuff. The pricing is not yet known for North America. America, but it should be coming out sometime soon. Now I want to talk about something that Apple appears to be doing in the hardware sector. There's a new patent that was issued for multi-level hybrid memory system, which has to do with their new ARM processors that they're making. Essentially, this multi-level hybrid subsystem is a fancy way that they're getting the SOC RAM to actually work faster and more power efficient, and will essentially just make their M1 chips a little bit better. And your life's gonna be a little bit better with today's video sponsor. And now just a quick word from our sponsor, Privacy, before we get back into the tech news. Privacy is a tool that makes it super easy to manage your financial lives online while keeping most of your important information secure. By giving you a virtual card number, Privacy hides your real bank information so you never have to worry about giving it out to people you don't know online. You can set up a merchant card that can be used as many times as you want with that specific merchant so that if there's a data breach, you're gonna know about it before they even inform you. And you can make sure that you're never accidentally billed twice without your consent, or you can set a spending limit of $11 a month 
for your Netflix subscription so that if it ever increases, you're not gonna get charged without going through those difficult customer service hoops to cancel. You can just make sure it's all taken care of on your privacy card. You can also pause all of it without having to contact anybody. And they also have an easy to use Chrome and Firefox extension to make everything work in just one click by automatically detecting checkout fields on a web page with just a click. You can create and autofill a dynamic number into the checkout form. And you can also easily and safely share your cards. No copy and paste, no screenshots, and the recipient won't need a privacy account to access the shared card. You just click the share button when viewing the card, enter an email address to share with, and privacy will handle the rest. This is great for small businesses of a team that where you don't want to have to give out a specific company card. And you can easily view your overall purchases on the summary pages. And now you can organize your privacy wallet even better with their new feature tags. Privacy makes it easy to not only safely shop on the internet, but also make sure you're shopping wisely. So again, right now, new customers will automatically get five free dollars to spend on their first purchase with them. So go to privacy.com forward slash hot news to sign up now. Being a monthly subscriptions, HBO Max has announced that they are hitting numbers that they didn't expect to see for a couple few years. I guess you combine a pandemic with the fact that you're going to launch all of your major blockbusters at the same time at home. And that leads to 40 million paid monthly subscribers, which is a number that they weren't expecting to hit for another two years. Obviously, this is a big deal and not quite to the reign of what Disney Plus has with over 86 million users after its first year. But you got things such as Kong versus Godzilla that's coming out. And I that's probably the thing that I'm going to get HBO Max for is to watch that movie. So they're, they're reeling me in. Or should I say I'm skating on over because EA has announced that they are founding a new studio to work on Skate 4. Full Circle is going to uh, make Skate 4 and not going to make my segues any better. But Nintendo is making their Switch better with this new limited edition Monster Hunter Rise Switch that's going to come out in Europe in March. I think it looks absolutely stunning personally, uh, but I won't be picking one up because I don't need a Switch and I don't I don't need Cyberpunk in my life anymore. I kind of got over that, you know, phase I was going through in my life. But in case you're not, they now have some official modding tools that you can check out. They're linking on their website. Most of it's just information that could help you develop mods and not actual mods themselves. But it's a nice start it's showing that CD Projekt Red doesn't trust themselves to fix the game and they want you to do it for them. Hooray! But if we're gonna if we're gonna go touch an asteroid, we gotta do that ourselves. And that's what NASA did. They sent Osiris Rex and it did that and it's apparently gonna head back to Earth in May with the over two ounces that it has of asteroid stuff. And they're gonna do one more flyby in April to see if like if everything's good in case they, they wanna, you know, touch down again. But they're coming back with asteroid. But in case you wanna pump those cryptocurrencies to the moon somehow, you might need a beefy power supply. And this 3,600 watt power supply out of China might just do it for you. Uh, Tom's hardware you can see here is calling a DOY brownout. But if you take a look at the image, it's essentially just two power supplies that did the fusion dance. And now they're one just chonky lad, apparently gonna cost round about the $900 mark in China. It's just absolutely massive. Obviously, this is not gonna fit in anybody's case unless you have like one of those Corsair 1000Ds and you're just like, who needs power supply restrictions? Not me, this is gonna go where the motherboard's supposed to be. But you won't be able to do that with the Threadripper Pro setup because those motherboards are quite big and now we have some official pricing about what Threadripper Pro is gonna be. It initially got leaked and then Amy was like, hey, uh, let's tell you the real price. Threadripper Pro 64 core, $5,500. The 32 core coming in at 2749 and then the 16 core gonna be 1149, just slightly more expensive than the 5950X. And slightly more expensive to my attention span is the fact that apparently Netflix is gonna be doing a Tomb Raider anime series based on the reboot trilogy, which just came out. And like, if it's about the same story, didn't I just play the games? I didn't, but like, I want Catelyn's opinion on this. You like the Tomb Raider franchise. What's your opinion on Netflix doing an anime series on the reboot of trilogy? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. And it looks like Fractal Design is going to try to reboot their financial hopes with them announcing a NASDAQ IPO plan. This is apparently after they weren't able to get bought out. And so this is kind of plan B for them to get the funding that they need in order to survive as a company, which doesn't necessarily seem like a good thing in the long run. Maybe Fractal Design might have some struggles, but they're apparently going to be IPOing on NASDAQ sometime soon. And Android 12 is coming out at some point in the near future. It's going to have things like index 
in-depth theming systems so that you can change the color of a specific app, okay? Not like dark mode wide or system wide dark mode, but actual like just, hey, I want my Twitter to be even more blue, okay? Deep, deep blue on Twitter. Or just to make everybody mad, I'm gonna make it green. Cause who needs green Twitter? I do. And who needs cool temperatures if you're rocking an Intel CPU? There's new details coming out about the 11900KF Rocket Lake on a 360 millimeter AIO hitting 98 degrees Celsius. That is just, that's a boy band and a half right there, my friends. That is, that is a toasty person. That's not overclocked, mind you. That's just boost frequency of 4.8. Sweet Susie, that is not a cool chip. You can see this guy here. He's not thermal throttling, just 98 degrees. Okay, there's no thermal throttling happening. It's winter, you need a space heater. What also needs a hefty cooler appears to be Corsair's new MP600 line of NVMe SSDs. So much so that they come with this chonky boy or they come with the fact that you can water cool them because they're just hot little pieces of memory swapping, which is what Facebook is because they're swapping your information all over the place. But apparently with the Oculus Quest 2 being released and being such a big hit, everybody really loving it for their VR experience they actually doubled the Facebook non-advertising revenue in Q4 of 2020. As you can see there, $584 million in the US and Canada, which is more than all of their non-advertising revenue in all of the previous quarters, which is just absolutely insane. Guys, I thought we agreed we wouldn't do this. And now you're buying all these Oculuses, Oculi. I sold mine because I didn't want to do the Facebook login thing. And House Marquee doesn't want to release Returnal before it's ready, which is why it's now been delayed until April 30th. This actually seems like a really, really intriguing game concept. I want to play it, but I'll have to wait a little a bit longer, which I'm okay with. I've learned what happened with Cyberpunk. Don't pre-order video games but you don't have to pre-order this product. This is the new Viper 8K from Razer, which is gonna be the world's most responsive mouse ever. It's gonna have 8,000 Hertz polling rate, which is just absolutely absurd. This Engadget article has a typo where it says it's gonna have a polling rate of 8,000 megahertz, which would be eight gigahertz. It, that's, that's not, it's 8,000 megahertz. It's on sale on Amazon right now, as you can see here for $80. There are reviews for it, but that's for the other Vipers that are out, the Viper Wired, Viper Mini and Viper Ultimate. This is the brand new one. We'll have a link in the video description in case you're looking to pick one up and YouTube's looking to pick up some trips. It ticks, ticks and trips, trips, tips and tricks from Twitch that did not come out. Clips, clips is the tip and tip trick that they're picking up from Twitch, YouTube uh, rolling out clips because they can't do anything original. I mean, they're copying shorts, they're doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah, just another thing. Twitch doesn't own short form video and I don't own tech news. I'm gonna release it unto you. You may have the tech news and do what you will with it. So don't forget about today's video sponsor, Privacy. Check them out at privacy.com forward slash hot news. You'll get five free dollars to spend with them when you make your first transaction with them. Protect your privacy online with your card information and also make sure you're tracking your spending habits. It's a great tool to have privacy.com forward slash hot news, my friends. Anyways, that's gonna be me with the hot news, the tech news for the day. This is tech news for the week. It's Friday, I'm out of here. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Chip Chip Cheerio. Bye, friends.